Hello everyone. So in this video we'll talk about this ESP32 breakout board. So you can use any standard ESP32 breakout board with code school, but this is specifically designed for code school and this has like multiple features. So we'll talk about its uh, benefit features one by one. So one of the feature is like this DC terminal block. So using that you can connect any kind of power source. For example, here I'm using just this cable and connected a DC adapter, but you can connect like any kind of battery. So it can take like up to 24 volt easily without any issue. So you can connect like 9 volts, 12 volt, 24 volt or like whatsoever. And this is the on off switch. So like it is off and then you can on it in this position. So internally it has like DC to DC converter which can provide up to 3 amps to be used with different servos and motor. So it has also a motor driver inside it. So you can easily connect two motors on these two motor ports. All the pins are broken out separately. For example, these are like general purpose IO. These are also general purpose IO, but the VCC in between for servos. So you can connect eight servos easily. And these are for pins where your signal is in between. So you can connect your normal sensors also easily. And these are input only pins. So these are like kind of fixed. So if you see like uh, it would show like power as 3.3 volt here. So you can see like this will show power as 3.3 volt whereas this would show like power as V. So this will show as power as V and this also show power as V. So what V means is like it is selectable. So you can select using this jumper red jumper. So you can select between 3.3 volt or like 5 volt for VCC. 5 volt you can select for servo. So for example if you are connecting servo you can select 5 volt. But those are not level shifted pins. So it, like just for outward purposes you can select like 5 volt also for the VCC using this jumper. And the blue jumper is for motor power supply. So like for your motor you can connect it in this position to provide like 5 volt regulated power supply or you can connect in this position motor and battery to directly support the battery on the motor. The motor driver can accept only up to 10 volts so like for example if you want to uh, directly power the motor like with 6 volts so like you have 4 AA battery connected on this screw terminal which would provide 6 volt and then you can like short this jumper between like motor and battery so like your motor will directly powered by 6 volt so like that you can like directly supply the battery voltage to the motor but the motor will only accept up to 10.8 uh, volts so keep in mind so like the motor driver will not accept like 12 volt or something like that so these are the pins for the motor driver. So these are specifically taken out for ESP32 cam. So like uh, on the ESP32 camera, the right hand side pins you can directly connect using a ribbon cable here. So for example, if you do not want to use that ESP32 board, you can directly connect the ESP32 camera here. And that camera will have like that uh, 5 volt regulated power supply and Using this four pins, it can control the two motors. So for ESP32 rover also, you can make using this board by removing this and just connecting your ESP32 camera here. So the other feature is like your uh, jumpers here for like, uh, these are like level shifted pins. So these are like three rows. So first one is like your low voltage second is your like normal data pins and like normal power and signal ground etc and the third one is like your high side of the level shifter so this is low side of the level shifter this is the signal and this is your high side so for example these pins are like vcc rx tx and ground and this pins are like sda scl 
voltage and ground so on the front like the voltage would be 5 volt because it's on the high side so on the back like the voltage would be 3.3 volt and in the middle the voltage would be like your VCC so which is selectable so for example the VCC here is 3.3 volt so VCC here is 3.3 volt you do not short this VCC to 3.3 volt or this VCC to 5 volt you just connect the signal which is the SDA and SCL to the low side and on the high side you can connect your 5 volt uh, LCD or like your 5 volt ultrasonic you can directly connect without any issue so these are like uh, taken out in the front so for example you can easily connect your 5 volt LCD or like your 5 volt ultrasonic here you just have to connect the signal which is the middle one so this signal you have to connect the low side of this level shifter circuit and the high side you can connect directly your sensor or if you want to just use 3.3 volt sensors then just remove this pins and directly connect your sensor in the middle row the last row is not uh, for directly connecting the sensor it is just for connecting the signal to the low side of the level shifter so it has like four level shifted pins so you can easily connect uh, your 5 volt sensors without any issue so the reason why we have three different rows like one is low side one is your signal and one is high side it's because these are reusable pin for example you do not want SCL SDA I2C pin to be level shifted you can just remove this jumper and like whatever pins you want to be level shift you just connect that pin to the low side and then the high side you can use it so it's like these are reusable level shifter so for any project you can use it so just connect like whatever pins you want to level shift connect on the low side and the high side you can use and this three rows is for that purpose only so for normal purpose you just want the i2c pins to be level shifted so just connect two jumpers and it will automatically be level shifted and and you can use the front row pins with your 5 volt sensor the other feature is like uh, on this three pins you can see R written so those are like pin 5, 18 and 19 so this R written means like this pins have like by default a 220 ohm register so like you can directly connect an RGB LED on this pin so you don't need to find a breadboard register and all those things like you can simply connect a RGB LED RGB module directly on this pins so on this uh, last three pins you have like by default 220 ohm register in series on the data line and this has like uh, reverse polarity protection also using the diode so it has like multiple filter capacitor also so this capacitor helps to remove any noise in the power supply for example like when your motors are running at full speed like it will draw all the current and your microcontroller will starve like there won't be enough current which is called like brownout condition or something so like it will protect your microcontroller from like rebooting so your connection would be stable for example you want to create a Wi-Fi control robot or like Bluetooth control robot so stable power supply is like very much essential so these multiple capacitors will ensure like a very smooth power supply to the microcontroller so as you can see like you can easily connect up to 8 servers here and like these are like 5 data pins so like you can connect uh, servers also here but you have to like uh, manually connect the wires so like VCC is here here also you like you can connect any sensors also so these are like general purpose uh, IO pins uh, remember like pin 2 is like internally also connected on the dev board to the LED so keep that in mind and these are like four uh, input only pins so like these are the input only pins so like pin 36, 39, 34 and 35 so these are input only pins and this is not VCC this is 3.3 volt this is like a hard coded fix 
3.3 volts so this jumper will not affect this pin so input like can only be 3.3 volts so for that reason like we have kept it as a constant for 3.3 volt here and this is a standard esp32 board so like even if it damage it is easily replaceable so like there is no issue so this is just a breakout board for easy connection so to purchase this board you can head on to our website hacktronics.co and you can directly purchase it from there we do international shipping also for any issue you can contact our support the details would be in the video description so i hope you like this video thanks for watching have a nice day